So at number 11, we have a given. Let's make sure that we're not too close up. Right? Sorry about that. Okay. So number 11, we have a given. Now look, they're already in y equals m x plus b form. Right? They are already set up as y equals m x plus b. Okay? So, the one thing I would do right away is I would say next to it. Remember what we did yesterday? Is this a dotted line or is this a solid line? Anybody, somebody, one buddy. Dotted or solid? Solid. Solid. No. Dotted. Is it positive or negative? No. Positive. Take a look, guys. Remember, your slope determines whether it is positive or negative. Okay? This is positive 5. So it's a positive slope. Mm -hmm. This tells me that is a dotted line, right? Because there's no equal. It's just greater than. Yeah. Right? So it can't be equal to. Okay? So we have a positive slope with a dotted line. And are we, are we shading up or down for greater than? Up. Uh, there we go. Well, we got one out of three right. That's a start. Okay? Yeah. Now, in another color... What color do you want to use underneath it? Blue? Blue. Is this a positive or negative slope? Negative, negative. one. Negative. Yeah. See how easy that is? It's a negative number, so it's a negative slope. Okay? So this one's going to look like this. Right? Now, is it dotted? Or solid? Solid. Well, I got both answers now. So one of you are right. It's rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. It doesn't work like that. No, no, it's dotted. Why is it dotted or why did you change your mind? Why is it dotted? Wrong, uh, why? No, it's greater. Yeah, it's, oh, it's less than in this case. Yeah, less than. Now, here, here's the thing. A lot of students get this confused with greater than or less than. So let me help you, okay? These are the two signs, right? Mm -hmm. If you can spell the word less, it's less than. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, I kind of made that up one year. I know a lot of people are like, oh, alligator eats this bigger mm -hmm. one, right? It gets confusing, though. With me, I want to connect it to the actual word, right? So if it's less than, I should be able to write less. Yeah. Okay? Does that make sense? That means the other shape is greater than. So it's less than means I'm going to go down in my shading, right? So right there, I have my two types of lines. Pretty good? Okay. So, now, the definition of y equals mx plus b. Or, what, what do we call that? What is definition of y equals mx plus b? What is that? Now, we shorten it to that, but what's that mean? Does anyone know what that means? Okay, so let's write it out. Okay, if nobody knows what the definition of y equals mx plus b means, let's write it out. It's the definition, right, of slope-intercept form. Okay, slope-intercept form. And what that means is that it's in the form of having your slope and your y-intercept. Okay? So, I can take each one of these. So, the purple one, y, is greater than 5 over 1. Now, why am I going to write it as 5 over 1? You remember? What is 5 over 1? Is this slope or is this an intercept? Slope. 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 People, come on. 
M is the slope. We need that in our in our cheat sheet. None of us know it, so we need to write it down. I don't see anyone writing. I see people on their phones. Yeah, can you mean sometimes? Yeah. But I don't see people writing down this. It doesn't help to just watch. You need to be writing while you're watching. And you need to get off your phone, Pearl and Robert. Please. Okay? Now, we're killing two chapters with one stone right now. If you focus on this, you're not only going to be able to do this problem, you're going to be able to do all of chapter 4. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this is your slope. Because y equals mx plus b. So this is your b, this is your m. So by definition of y equals mx plus b, m is equal to 5 over 1. b is equal to negative 3. What that means is I can take this purple graph and I can go to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. That is my starting point. And then I will go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And right 1. Because it's 5 over 1. Right? Okay, so that is my slope. Alright? That is my slope. Now, the other thing is the other equation. We need to graph it, right? Now, oh, by the way, is that a solid line? Almost made a mistake, didn't I? Because that's not a solid line, is it? No. It's a dotted line. We already talked about that. Right? And is it, gra is it graphed up or down? Up. Up. Okay, so that means all of this, right? Okay. With the same ideology, okay? With the same ideology, we're going to do it to the blue, okay? That means we have y is less than negative 1 over 1. So I'm going to choose the negative to be on top, okay? 1 over 1 x plus 3. And I'm going to write underneath it y is equal to m x plus b. And the b and the m are circled. Then I'm going to write in red because that's what this is telling me. The second step is telling me I have the definition of y equals an x plus b. Let's me know what m is. In this case, m is negative 1 over 1. Now, could I say or? Yeah. I could say or 1 over negative 1, right? And b is equal to what? What's b equal to? 3. So at 3, 1, 2, 3, we start. Then we go down 1 and over 1. Uh-oh. That's ugly. Oh, that's why it's ugly. Because <laughs> I didn't go up 3. I went up 1, 2, 3. There we go. That's pretty. Now, what was the difference? And the difference was, when I go down one and right one, now I'm right there on that same dot. Look at what I found. I found the intersection just by graphing. So I don't have to do substitution. I don't have to do linear combination. In this case, the intersection was found for me just when I graphed it. So the intersection 
is where? Where is the intersection? And did my graph be, am I shading it down or up? Sorry, that should be blue. Am I, am I uh, shading this down or up? Anybody? Down or up on the blue? Down. Down, good. Because it's, it's less than, so down. Good. All right, so where is my intersection? Where's my intersection? X is 1. X is 1. Y is 2. Y is two. X is 1. And Y is 2. Okay? So, I have an intersection at 1 and 2. Alright? The definition of an intersection means they intersect at a point. And I was able to graph this. Okay, so you can say graphing instead of linear combination, we graphed it this time. Okay, now where are all of my solutions? All of them, all the possible solutions are out here, right? This is where everything is possible for both equations. Right? None of these are possible. All of these are possible. Okay? And that's number 11. Chapter 4, right? Chapter 5, all in one. Okay? Questions? Why intercept, people? Learn it, know it, be it.